What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video So I'm not gonna lie this video might be a little bit selfish and that's because today I'll be showing you where you can get your hands on a Feebas and a prism scale in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC and In case you couldn't tell my Lodic is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. So without further ado Let's go ahead and hop into the details bye, bye, bye. All right, so first things first, obviously if you don't already have a Milotic or a Feebas, you're gonna need to get your hands on one. And luckily for you, they are a wild spawn, although a rare wild spawn in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. And you're gonna be able to find these little guys over in the Crystal Pool area. However, what you may have already noticed that you're supposed to have Feebas spawning, but you haven't been able to actually find them in the little pool above ground. And I'll show you why in a second, because we're actually not gonna find the Feebas up here here in this pool, but in this little underground cave that I have marked here on the map. So once you're here at the crystal pool, which is where you should have had that static Milotic encounter during the storyline, you may sometimes see on your map, like you see these little Pokemon here, that you have a Feebas spawning, but you're not able to find them up here on the surface. And that's because in order to find Feebas, you actually have to go to the little underground cave that's hidden behind this little pathway. And so just for reference, I'm over here by this little rock structure that's kind of like a little mountain or a little hill where you can clearly see the little bridge that you can cross over. It also does have like this little divot. But as you can see, there is a little hidden cave entrance here. And so if you have Feebas spawning on your map, but you can't find it on the surface, this is where you're gonna be able to find it. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in here. Whee! and you're gonna drop down into this little cavern. And there's actually a trainer in here, but if you turn around, you'll see that there is another cave entrance. And that's where we're gonna go. So you're gonna follow this little cave entrance and fall down again. And now you'll see that you're in a pool. And this pool is actually where you are going to be able to find Feebas. However, like I said, Feebas is going to be a rare spawn. So don't be surprised if you don't find it on your first try. As you can see, I literally don't have anything spawning in here right now. So I don't think we're actually going to run into one. However, if you do want a Wish Cache, there is also a static encounter here for Wish Cache. Obviously he's not attacking because you do have to actually go up to him and interact with him in order to have that encounter. But this little area is going to be where you are able to find your Feebas. And when I found my Feebas, I actually had to exit and enter the cave a couple of times because on my map, it did show that Feebas was spawning. However, I literally didn't find it until I had reset the spawns a couple of times. And as you can see, I just hopped out of the little pond a couple of times and a Feebas has just spawned and it's the only one in a sea of barboaches. And because I'm insane and I brought all of my like previous playthrough Pokemon, I literally have just been giving them focus sashes and then basically knocking them out and catching them because I like to catch them all in Pokeballs. Let me go ahead and catch this guy real quick. Enjoy your focus sash. Oh good. What a great move there, Feebas. I'm sorry that I have to flower trick you. Not Feebas thinking he can actually tackle me. Okay, I wish this was a girl, but I do plan on breeding these so that I can actually get a girl. And there we go, we have now caught a Feebas. So if you're looking for Feebas, they're down here underground, not on the surface. But obviously once you get your Feebas, it is going to be a trade evolution, but it also needs to be holding a prism scale, which you can also find here in Kitakami. And the prism scale is gonna be located back here in Fellhorn Gorge which the closest fast travel point here is going to be the little ogre ousting area. But once you're here in the little ogre ousting area, obviously you can just kind of fly over towards the back of Fellhorn Gorge. Or I guess not fly, but glide. And so once you make it to the back of Fellhorn Gorge, as you can see, there is a ton of magic carp here. So if you do need a Gyarados, this is gonna be your spot. You're gonna be able to find the prism scale in a Pokeball item over here. There you are. And as you can see on the map, I am in this little back corner pool. Look at this dude, he's trying to act so tough. But there you have it, that is where you can find your very own Feebas as well as the prism scale that you need in order for Feebas to evolve into Milotic. Of course, like I mentioned, it is going to be a trade evolution, so you are going to have to have Feebas holding the prism scale while you trade it over to one of your friends and have them trade it back to you in order for you to actually get your Milotic. But hopefully this was helpful and you are now able to find your Feebases and prism scales so that you can get your very own Milotic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed 
this video and if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.